Alrighty, this is Zills and Ziltor, and we're back. We already got a group for Sess Tasha. This is the first dungeon that you get to run. Come on, other DPS. So this is gonna... I'm gonna walk through this as soon as the other DPS queues up. Probably should have waited for everyone to queue up. So this is gonna be a walkthrough. Forest is Stasha, obviously. Where the hell is the other? DPS! Come on, DPS. Let's go. Of course. Okay, well. See, the good thing about this is I have a healer and a tank with me. So, you just gotta wait for a DPS to pop. Oh, the joys of having tank and healer friends. There we go. I'm not going to skip any cutscenes in this. So you'll get to see Sistasha in all the glory. Party full of sprouts. So obviously the first thing you do is kill two bats. So we have me, the archer. Looks like a dark knight tank, conjurer, healer, and lancer. Oh, cannot escape these damn lancers. All right. So as you will see, up there is a bloody memo. Uh, someone in the party has to read said bloody memo, and the bloody memo will let you know what color that a switch is hidden under. So then you have to hit the appropriate switch. You hit the wrong switch, and some trash comes out and tries to murder you. So we're gonna go up here to the bloody memo. And we're gonna see it, it change the color changes each time you run it. So the captain likes his sees blue. Then you tell the party blue, and everyone's happy. So then they know the blue switch is the one they have to hit. And let's attack with the tank is attacking. Because that's what DPS do. Yeah, I'm running with my two FC mates, Asir and Jessia. Asir is the tank, and Jessia obviously is the healer. And then the one little DPS is the pug. Hopefully we get some gear. I 
always love getting new gear. So much fun. What are you wearing? Because we spent like the three hours in cutscenes, I forgot how to do my. I forgot how to DPS. I forgot how to play. for AoEs. I feel like this dungeon takes like forever to go through. It's a bunch of trash. Trash, trash, trashy trash. clam Aww. all right and now we're coming up on the first boss so let's see what I mean all right, so there are three corals, a red, a blue, and a green. So the bloody memo was referring to the corals. So a seer is going to activate the switch. There's the switch, and here's the first boss. And the first boss is stupidly tank in Spain. Um, he's gonna throw out a local a AOE and if you're ranged, not ranged, if you're melee, then you have to simply move out of it. And that's really, see, there's the AoE.
And that's it. That's all you have to do. That's it. That's it for the boss fight. That Z kind of gear is going to pop up. And we got nothing for me. So we pass. The easiest boss fight in all of boss fights. And yeah, this is theoretically a boss fight. So basically, it's a captain with two lackeys, for the lack of a better word. Haha, <laughs> lackeys. So you DPS the lackeys first, and then you attack the boss. And then when you get the boss down to a certain percentage, then he goes crave and runs off. And then you do that a couple of times. First one down. Second one. Now the boss. Boss. I did air quotes for that, even though you can't see it. Boss. It runs off. Uh, of course. Either gear. I wanted to disengage. I had no reason to. I just felt like doing it. You must save us! What if I don't wanna? Drop the key. Then you gotta go straight up to the captain's quarters. 
when I originally started playing this game, I was super, super duper nervous about having to run dungeons again because I just quit WoW and WoW had really made me afraid to do anything with groups because towards the end before I quit, I was getting like harassed over the most stupidest shit. It was ridiculous and it just, the, it just ruined doing dungeons and any other group things for me for the longest time. So when I started playing this game again, or when I started playing this game, I ha I would only do group stuff with, with, uh, with the guild that I, I was in at the time. And if it wasn't for my two FC mates, I would have gladly have hugged this. Um, because it's so easy. And it's really hard to screw up the first three. But they really wanted to run the first three dungeons with me. Well, they offered. They like doing the mundane crap like I do. That's why they're so great. And no one's rolled on the other thing? Dead man's drink. Well, how do dead men drink? Oh, now we gotta go fight the uh, captain again. Alright, so this time... Uh, it's the same principle. Same thing. You DPS his two lackeys down, and then you go for him, and then he's going to run away. And I think this time, when he runs away, um, this door is going to open and a bunch of dogs are going to come out. So then you have to kill the, the scurvy dogs. So Sat Satasha follows a lot of the mechanics that you learn through the Smith quest. Quest line thing. Now we're gonna DPS the boss down. And so when he gets to be about halfway or so, he's gonna run off again. And Aesir is already going over to the gate because she knows that when that gate pops open, um, all the dogs are gonna come out and she's gotta grab aggro of them. Because if the tank doesn't grab aggro of those dogs, the first place they're gonna go to is the healer. Always. So tank, grab those doggies! And then we're gonna get up close, and we're just gonna AoE the crap out of them. We're gonna waste their TP. Being an Arcanist, that's this level sucks because you don't you don't get your AoE until level 30. Alright, and then Continue with it. There he goes. Less than half. He goes a running away again. You coward! Ooh, what what loot? Ooh, belt. Totally need. Ah, other person got it. They're putting on their fancy schmancy belt. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing I've noticed with Final Fantasy, is that um, belts are not visible at all in this game. Other games, like World of Warcraft, uh, Rift, and whatnot, um, belts are visible, but not this one. I wonder why that is.
And now we're coming up on the last boss fight. Just gotta take care of this useless trash. Tanks, take note. If you want your DPS to attack the proper targets, mark them. Not everyone's going to do what I was doing and target the tank, you know, and... I know there's an easier way to do it. Other than, you know, my ten routes to do it way, but... I would have laughed though if she would have done one, two, and three. That would have been funny. Alright, and I think that is the last group. You can avoid all that stuff. I know some people don't. to the last boss. No, I'm not going to skip the cutscene. Aww. That's an ugly dude. Okay, so with this fight, there's two ways that you can do it, but I have only ever done it one way. Uh, the proper way is for those unnatural ripples, um, someone or like the range people or with DPS whoever, whatever those ripples start bubbling, you're supposed to down the grates and, um, and click on them. It prevents the ads from showing up. Now, the way that I um, have always rinsed. See how the unnatural ripples are bubbling up? That would be when you would click on the on the ripples on the crates and knock them out. And I, there's four of them. There's two up here by the boss, and then there's two behind. So the ads are about to pop up. So what I've always seen every group is just ignore the ads and burn the boss down. So that's the second way to do it. Just ignore the unnatural reversi and there goes four ads just popped up out of the crate. And done. Now at the end of the dungeon um, you can do player combinations, which is basically giving like a medal to um, anyone in the party that you think did a particularly good job. So you can't do it with your anyone that's already in your party. So with pugs, I always just give them a, a player's comm because it's the nice thing to do. Usually I'll always give it to the healer or tank, depending on uh, what, oh, okay, well, looks like I already got the loot, depending on, um, the, whatever, if I'm a healer, I give it to the tank, if I'm a DPS, depending on who I think did better, it's usually tank or healer, um, I'll give a player comm to anyone who is patient enough to explain fights,
strategies, you know, not be a dick. Apparently the Lancer wasn't doing the, the Lancey things. Alright, so here's a quick tip for you guys, for, for you melee DPSs. It, when you are in a dungeon, always attack from either the side or behind, if you can. Sometimes... Um, because you get, you get a position bonus, especially with Dragoons. You get a positional bonus. Monks have them. So just be wary of that. You, you don't need to attack everything from the front. In fact, it's preferred that you attack everything from either the side or, uh, the back. So now we are going to turn in the quest. Oh, let's see, let's see the robe that we got. I don't know if it's uh oh, it's a disciple of magic. So I can't even use it unless I roll a healer. All right, so we're gonna turn in this quest, and then we're going to take a break while I get the next dungeon queued up. I don't think you want to sit in the queue with me. So, uh, might you be the adventurer who accepted the job of investigating Satasha? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Hmm. It would seem that ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbor. None for the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. No matter, the will return, our chance will come. So, tank, DPS. And... another DPS. You were right, of course, but there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Not a wink of sleep, great leader. See, tanks are always the leader. Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of, her of heroism as will earn us a place in the songs of every alehouse in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as yet unborn to follow our shining example. They're in it for the glory. Do you have such a goal? Large or small, it matters not. Only have a star to reach for and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hard hardship. Keep your eye on the prize and all obstacles will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad would you well goals are as arms and armor for the spirits i wish you fortune in your endeavors milady i tip my fedora to you <laughs> that was perfect bye bye Alrighty. so yes back with all my limbs Fishbacks. And there I was thinking you'd only have to crack a pirate skull or three. Seven hells, you turn your back for five buddy minutes and the scaly bastards have set up shop on your bleeding doorstep. Sounds like he left them in pieces, so don't suppose they'll be carrying out whichever mischief they was planning, unless they was planning on feeding themselves to the fauna of Sastasha, of course. Any road, it's all's well that ends well. On behalf of Linsa, I thank ye for shedding some light on this mystery. You've lived up to your reputation, and I couldn't ask for more than that. Now I'll bet you're dying for a rest, but just in case you're not, I was wondering if you might be interested in taking another job. It so happens that I have an ad request from our sister guild in Gridania, see? Seems the forest folk are in need of adventurer, but can get things done. For them to ask for your help like this, you can bet the task won't be no skip through a sunny glade. But after the way you dealt with our fishback infestation, I doubt it's anything you can't handle. Give us a shot when you're ready, not laid out for ye. Alright, so this is going to start the quest line to unlock uh, Tamterra Deepcroft. So we are going to end it here for for this segment because I'm going to do the dungeons in three different videos. So that's going to, you know, over the course of three days, we'll, we'll get through this. So that is that. So, um, so that's that for this one. That's Satasha. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Um, so if you have any questions about the dungeon, just, you know, pop them in the comments, whatever. Um, this is Zilv Zin, Zilv Tor, and I will see you when we do the next quest line. Bye-bye!